Today, there's a full moon in Sagittarius. Full moons reveal something. They reflect something back to us as the moon is fully illuminated with the light of the sun. The sun and the moon reach their maximum uh, objectivity, maximum separation from each other in their opposition. So they're on opposite sides of the circle. When the full moon is in Sagittarius, it brings in the qualities of Sagittarius that have to do with how we go beyond previously known boundaries. So going beyond limits, exploring new territory, discovering new possibilities. So let's explore how this full moon can reveal something to us about what we haven't known before. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Thursday, May 23rd. And with today's full moon in Sagittarius, we have the culmination of a moon cycle that began with the Taurus new moon. So the Taurus new moon was where we planted the seed for this cycle and themes of Taurus have to do with grounding, with connection to the physical world, with uh, containers, boxes, anything that holds something uh, with clear boundaries and definition. So when we're talking about um, Taurus, we're talking about things that make sense. We're talking about things that fit in the box, right? When we, it's not what's outside the box. It's not the outside the box thinking that helps us access new possibility. Taurus is about what is inside the box. So Taurus is our comfort zone. It is where we know how things work, where things make sense. They work according to previously known, figured out, uh, understood rules, limits, and boundaries. So if you think of the energy of Taurus as being, yeah, you know, it's like we've done this for centuries, for eons, we know how it works. It has to do with the cycles and rhythms of nature, has to do with things we can count on, things we can depend on. And so here we are with Taurus, we are really inside a, a fence of some sort, right? A, a metaphorical <laughs> fence that helps us understand uh, where we belong and how things work. And then as we follow through that moon cycle and move through um, as it evolves, we develop that connection. We are building on how we connect with the earth, what we are grateful for, um, how we connect with the things we want to manifest and tangible results and what that looks like, again, based on what we know, based on what's, how things work, where we know how they work inside the fence, where we understand the rules and um, how what to expect, right? What we can count on. So then as the moon cycle evolves and we come to today's full moon in Sagittarius, what it's saying is now that you have connected with what you know, what you understand, that practice of gratitude that we've been doing during this moon cycle helps us receive, helps us connect with the gifts that, you know, what we're grateful for, the gifts we have received, the gifts we uh, have to share, the gifts that life is all about. And now it's like saying, okay, great. Now, you, now this is what you're grateful for. Now, what where do you need to expand beyond that? What have you not considered that lies outside of the way that you understand things? So this Sagittarius full moon opens our minds. It brings in new perspectives. It allows us to get outside of that box, outside of the old thinking that um, helped us 
uh, connect with what's important to us, right? And and so with the energy of Sagittarius expanding into the new territory, the new possibilities, what lies beyond our comfort zone, we have some of this energy of bringing in um, uh, growth, expansion. We also have with this full moon, Jupiter is in the final degree of Taurus. Venus is conjunct Jupiter in the final degree of Taurus. So Venus and Jupiter together um, in the final degree of Taurus. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. So Jupiter is also about expansion, going beyond boundaries, travel to new places, having new experiences, getting outside of our own limited perspectives. And Venus is about what brings pleasure into our lives, what we find beautiful, what is valuable to us, what are our resources. So um, so with Ju Jupiter and Venus coming together, we have this expansion into what have you not considered that you can have <laughs> that brings uh, beauty, value, new resources, new um, things that bring pleasure into your life that take you outside of your own previous limitations, the limitations of the thinking of the past. Not only do we have Jupiter and Venus conjunct in the last degree of Taurus, but we also have Neptune in the final degree of Pisces. So that means that Jupiter and Venus are forming a sextile to Neptune. Um, three planets that we have during this full moon, three planets in the final degree of a sign. So there's like there's a cuspy feeling here. There's a feeling of transition, of completion, of releasing, of being on the brink of something new. And so a good thing to think about for today is what, where have you underestimated yourself? Where have you underestimated what you're capable of? Where have you underestimated how you can receive the things you want? Where have you underestimated what might feel like to receive the things you want, right? Like wh where has it not occurred to you that you are expanding already, that you are growing already and opening to the new beliefs that bring new possibility into your life that is going to shift your paradigm? So new paradigms coming in op uh, as we open ourselves to these new possibilities and being willing to take that journey, right? To take that leap of faith, to go beyond the known and expand into experiences that may be outside of our comfort zone, but are also helping us to shift as we grow and expand into all that we are capable of and sharing and shining our light more fully in the world, but also um, being uh, actively participating in how we experience our lives and in choosing to be willing to expand into what is possible <laughs> near my cat. Um, so thank you so much for being here. And I do have a guided meditation for this full moon that can help you make the most of these energies to deepen your trust in your own self, your life path, your journey, your process. Um, and so it's available for $15. You can find it uh, using the link at, um, in the notes for this video, as well as on my website, astrologyheals.com. Um, so with that meditation, it, it's called Truth in a New Era. So it helps you tap into your own deeper truth, how that's growing and expanding, how it's helping you shift into the new paradigms that invite new possibility into your life.
Thanks again for being here. I'm Marina Orms, and you can learn more about me and find my guided meditation and more at astrologyheals.com. I will be here with more astrology for unshakable self-care, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.